So I've just started a game here with this guy, Green18. We've got a super blitz game. And in front of me I have choices of Caesar or Richland, are really the two choices. Um, I'm going to go with Richland, uh, maybe pick up Homer, Library, Alexander. They're better leaders, in other words, than Julius Caesar. Um, you could go Homer, in which case I get library for one CA. Um, anything he takes other than hanging gardens, patriotism, and stockpile, is going to put library at one CA for me. So that's a pretty tough position he's in. I might have to let him... No, I could even get Hammurabi, right? Hammurabi for two, and then elect him as a third, library is a fourth and build a mine for a fifth action. That looks almost inevitable. He's, they, he left? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Maybe he'll come back. Give him a second. Here we go. <laughs> anyway, while he's uh, maybe thinking about this, I got a new mic. Hopefully you guys are uh, you guys notice the the sound. Let me know if you like it better or not. I was just using my phone's built-in mic. Hanging Garden Caesar. Okay. So, as I was saying, <laughs> let's go Hammurabi. I'm not I'm not that scared of Caesar. Let's do that. He says hi. Okay, plunder. Great. Hmm. Well, he's not getting Colossus. <clears throat> Does have engineering genius right there. So you have to reach out for 2CA to get it. He does 3CA worth of solid actions to do. Caesar, increased pop, and a mine. And then his 4CA, uh, maybe urban growth or cultural heritage. Um, so that's not great, but then the, uh, the alternative for him would be 2CA for Engineering Genius, um, elect Caesar and build a mine, which is probably better. So here we go, yep, build a mine, okay. But that still does leave him having spent 2CA for two rocks, which... Uh, I think is in my advantage. Um, let's see. I think I'll go for... I think I'll just finish the... Uh, I'll just work on this. Oh, I can't do that. Well, I could do that if I just increase pop. Um, being that I'm against Caesar and Hanging Gardens, I'm not super inclined to build a lab. Um, I might even... Printing press is tempting, but... Again, it's a pretty aggressive set that I'm up against. Could go for Joan here. Uh, he's not going to really need Joan because Joan's not so great with Hanging Gardens. Um, Joan's great overall, even, even with Hanging Gardens, but I don't see him spending two on Joan. The question is, what do I do with these last two actions? Could grab reserves. Could grab cartography and then not use the other CA. Um, yeah, so I got those, those two options, really. It's, it's also, I mean, I could for sure just build a lab, and then the last CA, just build a stage, and then I don't grab cartography. This is pretty good, too. It's just that it does kind of put me at, um, in a risky position against what could be a pretty dominant force here. I'm going to go for that, though, just because I didn't see a great alternative um, grab cartography? Sure. I'm, I'm going to have a lot of science. I might need that one more strength. That's a great draw for me. Because that's going to let me... That's going to basically buy me a little more time. And then hopefully the, uh, the lab pays off. I get some food going. Maybe even get Joan of Arc.
Okay, so he's not going super aggressive. He could have grabbed knights, he could have grabbed Joan. He's letting me have both of those for one CA, or zero in the case of Joan. So yeah, I'll go ahead and grab Joan. Um, don't need to elect her just yet. I'd rather just keep the uh, this the uh, extra CAs. Um, I have three or four more that I could spend. And let's see. Reserves, not bad. Um, I could get... No, I don't want to get cartography down. It's just too early for that. So I'm not going <clears> to... <throat> excuse me. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I guess reserves. And then what? What's the last action? I'm kind of full. I could actually elect this... Joan just to get another action out of uh, out of this turn. It's not it's not a terrible idea. So if I use Hammurabi's, no, I probably wouldn't use Hammurabi's ability. And then I'm drawing three military cards, so there's that. And also being able to see the next action, the next uh, event, I should say. Not yeah, it's not really. I wish I could grab urban. Well, the only way I can grab urban growth is. Either cartography or Joan at this point. Let's go ahead and use that and that and consider Hammurabi's time on this planet well spent. Okay. Um, the other plunder. And then two strength based events. I don't have a tactic for knights yet. Oh, I guess I could have... No, I couldn't have done that. <clears throat> St. Pete's. He could not grab that, though. Um, yeah. Okay, so we got two food and two rocks to think about. Probably going for the food. And two science. Cool. Okay. So both of these wonders are just gone. Um, I guess... No, I guess I could finish the library, and then grab Taj. That could be my turn. I'm um, interested in monarchy, of course. We just got some extra science. That would be a great first tech to get. He might go for swordsman, which would put monarchy at 1 CA, or he might go for monarchy. I think I would go for monarchy in his shoes. Going for a, a mic strategy. Um, so my counter to that... Three, three cultural turn. My counter to that is going to be partly military based, but also very much a an economy based. Um, I don't think I'm quite ready for the the military card to be played. I don't have like a tactic, so I'm going to skip politics. Let's get two food. Just again with the eye towards military gonna play um what is this settlement so we get a pop coming maybe the food is excessive then i don't know i'm thinking maybe this i might we might get a free um temple anyway which wouldn't be the end of the world um let's see actually and then i grab i grab monarchy research it <clears throat> and i think the last action i just finished the uh library i'm missing swordsman which is pretty uncomfortable, I'll be honest, because then I do have to either grab the next one or or make a grab for the rifleman. Let's see if there's anything better here. Um, if I go for the rocks, if I can complete this stage and grab this, I miss monarchy, but then I do have a great wonder to build. I really want monarchy, though. It's a thing. Um, an alternative to monarchy would be Code of Laws, which we haven't seen yet. I've got a few minutes to think about this. So it's really between monarchy and St. Pete's. Um, I'm going to go for the monarchy, though, just because... Let's go for the food. Just because it's... Uh, I got a lot of science coming in, and I want to put it to good use. Uh, St. Pete's, I don't have a ton of rock coming in. That's not my forte at the moment. Um, yeah, let's do that. I hate to go, I hate to see swordsmen go, but I think with the extra CAs from Monarchy, I think they'll be all right. 
And that's a pretty good tactic that I just picked up for the knights. Okay, and with that tactic picked up, I'm going to want to think about maybe getting into alchemy here. Because I have a pretty good strength base. Um, I want to... I wanna, the way you beat Michelangelo is you build a better economy. He's going to be building... Um, you know, he built the Hanging Gardens. That's no economy. He's got the Taj. Again, that's no economy. So he's going to have a lot of points, but very little economy. He's going to be sinking his rocks into uh, points. And so the way you beat that is uh, basically in age three. You build a pretty, you know, build a good economy in age one and age two. And then in age three, you, uh, you basically make his point advantage insignificant and even reverse it um, with some late game points. The way Mike counter that is if he goes military. And here we have Swordsman at two. So that's one interesting, or it will be at two for me. That's one interesting um, thing I could grab here is Swordsman. If I grab Swordsman, I have the potential to deny him Rifleman. And then his, uh, the usual Mike plan is then kind of thwarted at that point. We do still have uh, Knights. And he does have the two happiness from Hanging Gardens. So he's definitely got some aggressive potential, but it would be potentially lessened quite a bit if I grabbed Swordsman from him. Irrigation, wow. Yeah, he's that's pretty aggressive. Didn't grab Barb. Well, he's Michelangelo. I can't. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, so the question is, do I fear him being stronger later? Um Immigration's not an option, of course. He's got more happiness. Uncertain borders might be an option here. Crusades, perhaps. Um, let's skip politics really quick. I just want to see what this looks like. If I grab these two, and he would love getting engineering genius, of course. But this is about, again, trying to uh, beat him on economy and not. Not so much points. Mm, let's see. Then I would have one CA left over. Does this look... See, this doesn't quite look super aggressive. I'm not, therefore, inclined to play strength-based events. I'd rather let him lead strength and me try to lead with economy. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to skip politics again. Um, just increase pop to get out of corruption. And... Let's see, what else can we do here? I could grab Theology for that last CA. I'm going to grab Swordsman just to uh, just to kind of dampen his potential aggression a little bit. And then the last CA, I think it's either Patriotism or Theology. Hmm, I don't really like Patriotism or Theology. I don't like either one. But I don't see anything else to build. And I have 99 seconds to figure this out. Um, patriotism is pretty good. Yeah, let's do that. Three cards. Jeez. Okay, plunder, crusades, immigration. That wasn't that hard. Whew. Getting down to it. Good harvest. Um, he grabbed irrigation, so I'm not... Hmm. Doesn't mean I can't play it. He would just get a little more food. Could play it though. I really could play that. If, if for another reason, then just to kind of make him nervous about the events. He already knows two of them. And um, it's something about good harvest is that, yeah, you think it's like something you do when you have irrigation going, but it's also something you can do to kind of plan for. You know it's coming, you know two food is coming. And two food could actually make a huge difference for you it depends on i do have reserves so i can either use those two food or not um in other words played reserves for two food or not based on how the food shakes out don't like that decision on his part to go with theocracy he's going theocracy with no i mean he's, he needs code laws and here i need to take it from him 
Simple as that, right? So yeah, let's play Good Harvest. Get a free pop. Um, I am full, unfortunately. I'm gonna go ahead and get into Alchemy. And why not upgrade it twice? Sure, I'll grab Code of Laws. And then the last action, love to grab Breakthrough, but I am full. Um, I'm not, hmm, what do I do with this last action? This is kind of tough. I'm not really excited about patriotism. You know what? I could do patriotism, though, and just do that. Hoping that that's not a free warrior, because that would suck. The other option is reserves, but again, like I was saying, I'd like, I'd rather keep reserves and see what happens with the, uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this, and then I'm ready to play a strength-based event. Or a trigger one, I should say. Don't really need to copy that, do I? Um, I guess. It's one card, I guess. All right, two cards to discard. Um, let's go with Enslave. And, ooh, this is tough. This is really tough, actually. I'm going to get one more pop out. So I think I think I discard that. Hmm. This is a tough one because I kind of want all those. Let's go with that. Let's go with the Phalanx. Okay, so that's a pretty good set of strength-based events. They would have come out pretty late, so it's not that not that exciting. But I can start tucking these out. Um, I think. Well, we'll see. He see if he grabs knights. He has to grab knights, right? Thirty seconds reserve. I'm I'm the slowest player in the world. That's a it's a pretty well known fact. Knights. Yep. There he goes. Okay. Okay. So iron for two. I do want iron. It is the end of the age though. So there are better things coming. Uh, namely coal. Specifically coal, actually. It would have to be coal, right? So if I don't grab iron, he could take the iron that wouldn't go to me. Anyway, what's this? We have development of ag, we get two more food, and then we have two more food coming in, so reserves, therefore, needs to be rocks. Let's go ahead and play barbarians. That's a safe one. It's a safe bet. Okay, and then I'm going to increase pop. And with all of this science coming in, I feel pretty good about playing that. Um, rich land, iron, and maybe I won't research iron, but the last, let's see, the last action, probably breakthrough. Mm, eh, maybe not. Maybe not just because I don't really need that much. Um, what about frugality? I'm going to get two more. No, I don't really want that. Never mind. Do I just grab all the, <laughs> all the good text? Uh, like bread and circus. Hmm. What if I didn't grab the rich land and then I spent both of those actions on rich land too? Let's see what that looks like. So like that. Do, does he need breakthrough is another question. He does. He does need breakthrough. He's going to be really happy if I leave that for him. Hmm. All kinds of options here. Um, I do want to deny him the science. I think that's also good. It's all good. Everything, I'm, everything I want to do is good. <laughs> Let's do that. And I have no idea if there are boats or um, territories, so I guess I'll discard that. Oh, nice pick up there. So I have Swordsman and Knights. I could get into that really soon. Um, he doesn't have Swordsman, and so if I grab a Rifleman from him, then he couldn't take advantage of it. I don't want to play it right away. I want to see if I can get Rifleman first. 
Um, I also want to see how what kind of economy I can build before the military becomes necessary. Is he gonna go rich land? Oh no. Interesting. So coal is going to be a hot item. Is coal coming out? No. There's riflemen though. Interesting. Okay. I think I can play Politics of Strength. Reign of Terror is a great, a great event for me. Um, I think Politics of Strength. Mm, I mean, I don't see him getting. I don't know. He's going to get four more strength though. Let's uh, let's do. Uh, Let's do something. Let's go politics of strength. That's a risky play. It's, it definitely is, but I feel like I feel like uh, I could probably get on top of that. Um, three actions left. Ocean liners looking good. Kremlin. Kremlin's not bad actually. Not bad at all. Let's get yeah. Let's get Kremlin and efficient upgrade. Um, then I gotta think about food though. And Ocean Liner does solve the food situation really nicely. Oh man, this is tough. This is tough. Um, yeah, actually, let's go Ocean Liner and Wave of Nationalism. Is that is that good? It's either that or efficient upgrade. Okay, you know what efficient upgrade? Because I don't know if he's gonna get stronger. I'd like to just put the wave I'd rather put the rocks into play next turn if I can um for discard let's go with the plunder and it's either uncertain borders or for it oh actually inhabited I didn't grab navigation and it's going to fall off so I'll get rid of that so I've been able to keep up a pretty pretty strong pace with the econ economic upgrades maybe i should have grabbed rifleman for three i did not i kind of forgot about that at the end there but then again it's not that i want to necessarily keep him super weak weaker than me it's just that i don't want him to push military on, on me too hard then again at 4 ca what's he gonna do um wow Yep, there's rats. Interesting. So if I let rats, I mean, I don't have a choice, do I? It's going to be rats before my good harvest. And I did take, yeah, I'm not worried about rats. I did take a good wonder to for rats. Um, terrorism looks really good, of course, against Mike. I'm, uh, not my favorite event in the game, but in this case, I'm glad to play it. So yeah, let's get rats out. Okay, definitely taking Rifleman. Might even play it, although, let's see, I definitely want to do that. Um, what else? Could go Newton here. Yep, could do that. Strength-based events, we got Barbarians and Good Harvest. Now, if I want Barbarians to hit him, I got to get stronger right now. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just because... I would love to. I would love for him to get hit by barbarians. Um, do I grab rifleman? No, he has knights. I'm not. Eh, it's not bad though. I mean, I have two more actions: efficient upgrade, revolutionary idea. Definitely taking revolutionary idea. The last action could be either cavalrymen, for which I do have the uh, the actions to get into that, or or sorry, the science. Or I grab um, efficient upgrade for selective breeding, which is coming. What to do? Let's see. Yeah, I'm actually going to go with efficient upgrade. And I do have knights. I'll, but then that'll force me to, to use knights, of course. Um, no, but I like this. I like this pretty well. Let's do that. Two cards. Um, I guess the boat and this tactic. Let's do that. A 
Napoleon's taking his time, isn't he? So he's got a lead, not too, not too great. It's not, it's not a crazy lead. I have been playing a lot of events. Is that true? Yeah. Well, I got four points from events: terrorism, politics of strength. Got to think about politics of strength for sure. I got to think about keeping that strength up. Maybe I go Napoleon if he comes out for three. I mean, I have CA to his four, so um, that might be smart on my part, just because. Well. Would it be the best thing? I mean, it's either that or I can grab Newton right now and start getting more, even more economy. What would he do with Newton? The real important thing is coal. So he stole selective breeding from me. I need to get coal. If I can get coal, then it's still not here. Barbarians is next. So I definitely want to trigger that. If I play economic progress, then I die to his coal. I think I'd rather play 4A. Yeah, I'll play 4A. Knock him down another pop. And I can research knights this turn. I can grab um, cannon and push him off any cannon techs. Let's do that for sure. Um, I definitely want organized religion. Gonna want... Jeez, I got a fistful, don't I? Um, I think I do want to get knights down and go ahead and build a knight and just stay, keep up on the strength. Do I? I mean, that's not the that's not crucial actually. What else would be cool is if I could finish this wonder next turn and start cranking out the pop. So I'll do that. Um, let's see. I could play revolutionary idea. Am I worried about, or no, I played all of these. Great, okay. I know what all of these are. Um, could go Newton. Am I worried about Napoleon? Kind of. But not that worried. It's just that the politics of strength, that, that's what I'm thinking about when it comes to Newton. And Foray. So I guess I'll hang on to Joan. Joan's, Joan's pretty handy for the strength and all that. Um, one last action. I'm definitely going to want knights, right? Unless cavalry. Well, let's take that back. I'm, I'll play uh, organized religion. Discarding one military card that is an inferior tactic to classical army. So it's a safe discard. Could think about a territory war. Wow, I got all the tactics. Where does that leave him? His uh, defensive army, which he can't get, and fortifications, which he can't get. Uh, what else? Is there something I'm missing? Let's look at this. That's it. Yeah, those those are the two tactics he could get, and they're both going to be impossible without cannons. Okay, but that being said, I'm not necessarily going to go full aggressive. I'm still wow nine nine culture a turn. I didn't actually see that. When did he jump to nine? That's huge. Hmm. There's coal. Okay, so he's starting to wake up on military. Um, with five left, I could knock knights out of his hand. Why don't we go with uncertain borders here? Oh man, six, <laughs> six food. So definitely coal. Um, that would be five. That would be the end of the age right there. And then that knocks knights out and he doesn't have cavalry. So I think that's pretty good. Um, do I finish the wonder and get a pop that way? <clears throat> or do I... Let's see what's coming up. Foray, uncertain borders, politics of strength. Yeah, no, nothing that I need happiness for. Um, I do, I do want strength though. Strength is important here, so I'll go ahead and research cavalrymen and get one guy down, and then I might as well grab engineering genius while I'm here. Kind of wish I had phalanx right now, but. 
I'll get that other cav next turn, right? Yeah, I have enough, I think. I think I could do that next turn. Um, I could couple all of this with a war. And what would he do about that? Strategy? Yeah, he would do strategy to nine, and then, yeah, it wouldn't be that good of a war. Then there's also Napoleon to think about. Yep, no war. So in turn, can discard two of these. Um, don't really need this. And oh, Napoleonic could be cool, though. Economic progress. Not as excited about that. Um, yeah, let's do those two. Oh, but economic progress could be really nice for pushing an event out next turn. So maybe the war and territory, uh, I don't know, the raid, it's tough. It's going to have access to Napoleon next turn. So it's a tough choice here. Let's keep the raid. Well, he's not that raidable, though. Never mind. I'm, take, I'm taking another raid out. <clears throat> Okay. Yep. Oh, we lost your gate. Right. Well, Air Force. Cool. First H3 card is Air Force. So we have Napoleon for 2 CA. And Justice System at 2 CA. He would probably love Justice System if I left it to him. Mm hmm. A lot of good stuff right there, 2CA. Strategy, what's he going with here? Yeah, he goes for Napoleon. Builds a warrior. Yeah, it's a good thing I didn't do the war. Um, what have we got? Foray on certain borders. Yeah, all good stuff. I want to play an event. Could play Cold War. Uh, I would kind of have to think about, well, what is, you know, what's Napoleon going to do for strength? But I could keep up with that. I, I think I can. I, I know I can, actually. So, yeah, let's go ahead and play Cold War and just really milk this strength advantage that I have here. Foray, I'm going to go for maybe two food. Maybe. See what that looks like. Um, no, I don't need food, do I? I've got this, uh, I've got this wonder. <clears throat> All the food in the world. So let's do it that way. Um, Air Force, yeah, I'm going to grab that. And efficiently upgrade that so I can build a can, uh, cavalry. And then what's the last action? Do I grab Justice System just so you can't? Nah, probably not. Mm. Last action would be, well, I think I can play that. I don't. I think I'm pretty safe playing that. What's the last action? Strategy? Strategy, right? Yeah. Yeah, it has to be strategy. Not that I need to go super aggressive, right? I mean, there's movies coming. Hmm. It's another alternative. Is I can catch up with points that way. It's not like my economy is that much better than his. I still think strategy is the, the way to go here. So let's discard economic progress and annex. Don't see annex being all that useful right now. Now the question is, do I reach for um, oil if that comes out? Something that he could really use right now. If it comes out early and he jumps for it, that could be pretty bad. I need to think about food. I'm definitely going to need another farmer next turn. So that's <laughs> that's two of my rocks right there. Can't quite get into movies right away. I could go with multimedia here. I could end up with that. Let's go in science. Okay. So he's trying to catch up on economy now. And that's a pretty good first step. <clears throat> Classic is now live.
I think a territory war is appropriate at this point. Um, big question is, do I do that with an air force somehow? I'd have to disband something though. Um, do I do that with strategy? Am I worried about him catching up on that on strength? No, not, not really. Um, there's movies in Chaplin, which, you know, I'm not really putting, I'm not really investing a whole lot into this war. It's just kind of going to, you know, probably just grab a couple of yellows. Um, movies, movies, Chaplin's not bad. I could take his movies to really, hmm. Yeah, the, the, I guess the issue is if he were to go movie as Chaplin, I would have to, I would have to get pretty aggressive here. Let's go ahead and do the strategy thing. Um, I have four more actions. We have patriotism, engineering genius, movies, urban growth, Chaplin, all good stuff, all stuff that I could jump right in. Um, am I gonna need a culture war at this point? There aren't a whole lot of turns left. Culturally, catching up would be rather difficult um, with just straight like culture per turn with movies. I think I'd rather do it with something like computers. Yeah, I don't think movies is the right way. So urban, patriotism, engineering genius, and let's have this last, this last action. I'll just go ahead and build that. But we got uncertain borders, politics of strength, terrorism. Cool. Okay. I like this. There's oil. Just saw that. <laughs> might be might be a little late for oil. If he goes oil, I definitely have to uh, go pretty aggressive. Culture war. So I could... Yeah, I could actually go to war against him with this culture war. He has no Unitex at all. Cool. Um, and, and none are coming out. There's Gandhi, though. Yeah, so maybe I scare him into Gandhi. Maybe that's what's going to happen here. And then I grab a... Who do I grab? I grab a leader that... Winston, Albert Einstein, Gates... I got computers here. Uh, sorry about the neighbor's noise. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I'm gonna shut shut the windows. Get a little quieter in here. thinking about Gandhi, isn't he? He's thinking, do I try to win this war or do I try to prevent the next war? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think it's, um, I think it would be prudent to declare a culture war on him at this point. Uh, do I do patriotism? Maybe, probably. Um, let's do, uh, come on, the hitbox is too small. Um, let's see, what could else, what else could I do? 36 isn't that much. Can I make that higher? Should I grab Gandhi myself? <laughs> and not elect him, of course, but just prevent him from grabbing Gandhi. Hmm. I don't know, if I had another war, then that would be that'd be really tempting. Do I grab oil? I think it's kind of too late for oil. He can't even do it this next turn. So I think I think I don't need oil. Um, I'm only gonna have seven science next turn. What's this aggression? Another raid. Okay. <clears throat> so I can't even get computers, which is unfortunate. Something I would like to get. 
Um, Mechanized Zag is there. He might deny that from me. Um, with these four actions, I'm just not really sure what to do here. Um, I could get ahead on science just to prevent that uh, impact of science going the wrong way. Let's see what else I could. I could disband a farm, build another one of these for 10 point swing, grab mech ag just to be safe and then efficient upgrade and go ahead and let him take Gandhi. Um, I feel pretty good about that. I just don't feel like I have a lot of great impacts. Uh, I only drove one car <laughs> impact of industry. So if he goes away, oh, I definitely can't play that. Um, I don't know if that's going to be enough, honestly. He does have quite a lead on points and points per turn. He's got about 26 um, plus 3 times 2, maybe like, I don't know, 30 point lead. I'm going to have to get, I do have Engineering Genius. I'm going to have to get a pretty decent Wonder, Fast Food, or Space Flight. I'm probably going to prefer fast food just because I have this ocean liner. Okay. Well, he has plenty of food anyways. Modern Infantry did come out finally. He doesn't have the science for it though. So his defense on this is not going to be all that great. Um, he has a 24.26, if I can count, 26 point deficit here. Um, so I'll be stealing 31 points from him, which I think is enough um, to at least make it close. Politics of strength is coming too. So, well, that's not points, is it? I was thinking of refugees for a second. Uh, terrorism is still going to be, geez, hopefully in my favor by the time it hits. I'd like to draw some uh, good wonders here. This impact of wonders is not so good. Industry might end up being okay. Let's see if he skips the oil or not. I ended up with the yellow, which uh, conveniently put me back at plus zero food per turn. So he does go Gandhi, which is great for him. I mean, there's no really other leaders. There aren't any leaders, um, other leaders. No leaders coming out. So I'm leaderless while he's getting nine points a turn. Um, so we're pretty, yeah, so that's... It's gonna suck for terrorism. Maybe don't get in. Maybe it's good I didn't get into computers. Um, I think I do want to play an event. Civil unrest looks pretty good right now. I can definitely stay up on the happiness. Yeah, so let's play that. It's two points. Uh, but he did skip. This is actually four points, and he did skip the uh, the oil, and I could actually see him disbanding. Uh, some bronze. So let's play that, actually. Green has the least culture. Great. So there goes seven resources. Um, politics of strength coming out. Wait, why didn't I attack him? That was what I should have done. Raid, plunder. Wow, I just completely forgot how much stronger I am than him. And got four points instead. Whoops. Well... Do want to do that. That leaves me with uh, four actions left. I think I was, you know, in my mind thinking, oh, he's Gandhi, I can't attack him now. But that's just not the case. Um, I have, I mean, plunder. I could have at least plundered him. Anyway, moving on. We have reserves. We have revolutionary idea. I could deny him civil service. It's kind of the end of the game, though, right? I don't know that he's going to really get a whole heck of a lot of use out of that. I have three actions left. 
Um, modern infantry is also an option just to keep him down and maybe guarantee the plunder later. I'm going to want to keep an eye on the wonders here. He's got a pretty decent income, although that's not a great one for him. I'm going to probably try to steal fast food. With the three actions left, um, let's go with this. Let's go ahead and upgrade that and grab civil service. I'll let him have modern infantry and satellites. It's another war, which I can't really use. I wonder if he'll go for strength now. I didn't really get a good uh, impact. I, I'll have one more draw to maybe get a pretty decent impact. And other than that, it's going to be, I basically have two political actions. So plunder and maybe a good impact. Um, even raid might be a good last action, final action. I mean, raid's actually pretty good right now. But the problem, no, I can't raid. I don't have enough CA. The other problem is I, I do want to draw some uh, cards. So probably going to go plunder this next uh, political phase. Oh, let's see if he... Oh, he can't grab fast food, right? So I think whatever he leaves it at, I'm going to take fast food. And with the plunder, that should seal this up for me. Um, I did, I'm about to lose an organized religion, but I think I have enough resources and I have engineering genius and reserves. So I don't think it'll be an issue. How many points would that get me? 20? Okay. Still getting a lot more points per turn than me. He's going to end this turn with 57 points to my 82. And then next turn, we get another um, six points more than me. So what is that? Let's see. That's like 25 points plus six, 31 point. Of, um, no, 25 minus six, 19 points that I'm ahead of, that I'm ahead of him by. It's a, it's a pretty comfortable lead. There's definitely things though that he could do to overcome that. He did play an impact. So I'm not sure what that is. Um, politics of strength could hit an age four. I suppose that's possible. I'm not playing an event right now. In which case, that's another eight points. And there he's just taking endowment. So looking at maybe, maybe back to 21 points of a lead here. Um, so let's look at plunder. Look at what this is. I'm a, I'm a, up 28. He has six um, MA, which is a potential of 36 defense. Um, five, five boats would be uh, 31. So he needs five boats. If he has four boats only, then he can't do it. <clears throat> I think it's worth it. I think it's worth a shot. Plunder. I'd rather politics of strength be points, I think. I just don't know that I'm going to draw anything. Oh, interesting. I don't have a choice in resources. And what I steal, I don't know if I've ever seen that. It just kind of chooses for you. I don't think I've ever plundered somebody with exactly seven things. I'm going to want to get fast food here. Let's use the ocean liner. Engineering genius might be pretty important. Um, might draw impact of progress. Um, and then it's just a matter of trying to get out of corruption as much as possible. Try to get past this four at least. Um, what could I do? What's important here? Uh, the one CA was engineering genius, or just engineering. What else? What else could I do? Politics of strength. What did I play again? I have Cold War, impact of industry. 
Could build that for two points. Um, didn't I play... No, I didn't play any. Could play that. That's pretty good. Um, then next turn I would have 14 plus the Engineering Genius, which is only going to be with four. So that's 18 plus the Reserves, 22. Uh, minus the 16 for the Wonder leaves me with six. Six resources, which is just happens to be the upgrade for agriculture, right? Um, so that's pretty good. Um, covers my impact of happiness, if that's an issue. I don't get Winston, though. Is there a way to get that? I mean, I only had two actions, really. Engineering. I do like engineering here. Um, hmm. What's better, Winston or engineering? He can't grab Winston, so Winston's like three points. No, I can't really elect him, can I? No, no. So I can get him next turn. Let's just do it. Let's do it that way. I will face corruption. Oh, I totally miscalculated that. So I'm gonna only have four extra. Oh well, I think that's still okay. Um, let's discard the war and let's discard this. Impact of technology. Well, you uh, get a little insight into my private life, I guess. I forgot to turn off notifications. Cool. So that hit in age four. And so there's an eight point spread there. Let's look at the impact of tech really quick. Um, eight to me and four to green. But look at all that science. Look at, look at all that science. That's a lot of science. Didn't draw the impact of progress. I'm not excited about any of these impacts, really. I guess I'll play tech. Or raid him. <laughs> I mean, I only have four rocks left over, right? If I did that math right, I don't, yeah, four. It's four rocks. What did he do? Oh, I can't take Winston, can I? I didn't even realize that, so... Destroy to mine, good. Takes urban growth, takes tanks. Okay, final turn in the game. So yeah, I see their raid, which would get his science down, which would, uh, what would that be? The minus three science per turn. So he'd be at, uh, he'd be pretty low. He did play an impact. One of those could have been impact of science. So that could be a huge swing for me. It could be a 20 point play. Whereas impact of tech, he does have quite a bit of CAs for, he has 16 science. Um, there's rockets, which I might not be able to steal. Actually, it's only one tech. So, uh, we'd each get one tech, I think. I think that's what that amounts to. Um, no, I would get two. And he would get one tech. So, impact attack would be seven points. Raid might be 20 points. Um, might be. That's the thing, though. Might not be. He's going to get another 12. Um, put, puts him at 88. Plus whatever else he ends up doing this turn. Um, so, And then I have this uh, Wonder. So I have a 25-point lead before the impacts. I don't think I need to do anything risky. Like, the raid would be a riskier play. Because I don't really know that that's going to be all that important, this raid. I do know that impact of tech is going to be nice. So I'm going to play that. Cold War. It's the safer play, basically. That's, kind of, that's what that amounts to. Um, so three stages of that and engineering genius. Um, let's see. I could have played reserves and then built two bronze mines before doing that. Or just one, I suppose. Yeah, just one bronze mine. Hmm, that would be another two points. I could, I could have grabbed Einstein for six points. And there's also the denying of rockets, which is not important at all. So I think I'm going to back up and grab Einstein before I do these researches. 
So Einstein, civil service, and now I can build three stages, engineering genius. That's it. Oh, and don't forget the impact of pop. Casey played that, but she didn't. Okay, um, I think that's it. I think that's the best I can do here. So I'll end the turn, pass it to green, and see what comes of this game. Let's look at green side again. It's quite a bit of, it's, it's close to considering he didn't get a single unit tech researched. Um, very close game. And one of the things, one of the best things he did was go into scientific method that really got his economy back on track after a pretty rough start with Mike and Taj and Hanging Gardens. Maybe if he had gone with Newton instead of, um, yeah, if he had gone with Newton, and uh, because the thing is he only had four CA, that was what's really held him back. Not not taking quota laws, even theocracy itself probably was not a great idea for him. Um, but but just the same, the scientific method is where he was able to uh, mitigate the one like shore up the one weakness he had, which was didn't have a lot of science coming in. He was at two science a turn at the uh, at the time, and then selective breeding was also important too. He um, he had irrigation in hand, took selective breeding from me, and got his food going really well. Well, let's see, what's his, what's his turn going to look like? Uh, maybe, I mean, research tanks. And that's the only thing I can research. I mean, he could grab rockets instead, I suppose. Um, doesn't have... He could build another temple for free. And that would be the fourth temple, so we couldn't build a fifth. And that's about it. So, okay. Yep, so he did that. Fourth tempo. Okay, so we have impact of government. That's one that he played. Happiness. Glad I built the temple. Cool. Okay. And impact of industry, which is one that I played. And then we have technology, which is another one I played. And that's it. That's game. Uh, good game, Green18. And thanks for watching, guys.